If you're looking at some vegetative or grown nutrients here on this Tobacco University video, we we'll provide you just kind of an example uh, and go through some of the fertilizers you might be considering. All right, let's get into vegetative or grown nutrient evaluation for cannabis production. And keep in mind that I'm not sponsored by any of these companies, uh, but these are just kind of a general review. Botanicare, very uh, common name. Botanicare Pure Blend Pro Grow 324 Fertilizer Blend. Essential elements are not derived from urea or ammonium nitrates. So that's something to take into consideration. The organic components of Pure Blend Pro enhance uptake and utilization of plant nutrients, at least according to the company. Uh, an amplified metabolic rate and capacity enables plants to produce fruits and vegetables with more minerals and vitamins. Again, another statement from the company here, but this is a very common uh, grow nutrient blend that many growers may choose to utilize. But then there is also the general organics. So this is a, a general hydroponics, I should say, floral nutrient, 7, 4, 10. Be aware of the high potassium ratio in this fertilizer. So if you're fertilizing for the grow in particular, you're going to be looking at the nitrogen number, and that's important. But keep in mind this also has a relatively high potassium number. So take that into consideration when you're going through and fertilizing your plants. Then we have Fox Farm here. Uh, this is a Fox Farm Grow Big Liquid Concentrate. It's a 644 blend. Manufacturer recommendations are all stated here. General feeding, heavy feeding, and foliar feeding as well. Keep in mind if you do, are going to do foliar feeding with any fertilizer, not just this one, uh, you want to apply it to both sides of the leaves, and you don't want to apply it to plants that are in direct sunlight because that could increase the chance of damage. So here we have our general feeding of two to three teaspoons, heavy feeding of four teaspoons. Again, generally follow the recommended recommendations. Don't go above because feeding your plants more will not necessarily make them grow any better. They have NPK Industries. So they get their name from the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium listed in fertilizers. They have a raw veg A, a raw veg B. We can see different ratios listed here. They have a feeding schedule here as well. All these products are water-soluble forms, meaning they're a powder that you'll add to water. While the company recommends equal parts, realize that there are concentration differences in these fertilizers. And the advantage is you can potentially make modifications to match your particular growing situation. And then lastly, we have Advanced Nutrients, which specifically targets the cannabis industry and their marketing and kind of all their research. There is a great focus on pH balanced nutrient lines, particularly for hydroponic production. However, keep in mind with Advanced Nutrients, the products often carry a premium cost compared to other nutrients. So again, take that into consideration that when you're looking at applying nutrients, you want to be also considerate of the cost that you're going to incur for the plants that you'll be fertilizing. Hopefully this gives you just a couple companies to kind of look at or consider or compare. Again, not sponsored by anyone, but just here to provide you with a little bit of some ideas for nutrients you might want to consider during the vegetative cycle of your plants.